Welcome back to The Breakdown. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a 70 watt car charger. Now this is a great little car charger that will give you 70 watts of charging, enough to max charge two iPhone 14s, for example, and a whole lot more, even charge a laptop. Now you're probably saying, Luke, why do I need something like that? My car has a um, car charging USB port in it. While most cars, and I know this isn't all cars, but most cars on the market, only have the slow standard charging. This will give you that rapid charging through USB-C that you need for things like laptops, Nintendo Switches, and most modern phones. So we're gonna look at the pros and cons of this, break it all down, and let you know everything you need to know about it. First, a few disclaimers. This was a review unit, they did send it to us, but they don't get to see this review until it goes live. They're watching it on YouTube, just like you are. So keep that in mind. Second, um, Pricing on this changes so rapidly. Hate to give you a price and have it be wrong. Check out the show notes down below and in the first pinned comment, I'll put a link to this on Amazon so you can find it there. If you're new here, hey, before we get into the full review, help me grow this channel, help me support my family. All you have to do is let YouTube know you enjoy what we do here. Just by hitting that subscribe button or hitting that thumbs up, YouTube knows to recommend our videos to more people, helping us grow this channel, helping me support my family. So with that said, let's dive into this review, starting off with just looking at this charger. Now it's a pretty standard port here. Well, growing up, I always called this a cigarette lighter plug. You plug it in the old cigarette lighters. Nowadays, I know cigarette lighters don't come with cars anymore, but those plugs are still there because we started to use them for all kinds of stuff. It's got two USB-Cs and a USB port here and a little LED ring with it um, around the plug to help you see it in the dark. Now it's 70 watts in total, which means it will split the power between multiple ports. But like I said, the iPhone 14 is only a 30 watt phone. You can split it between the two of those and get two max charge iPhone uh, 14, Pixel 7 Pros, and more. Let's take a look at this working in the car, unless I talk about a few catches here. Like I said, it's 70 watts in total. So you break that out, keep it in mind. But most phones are 45 watts or less. The iPhone uh, 14 is 30, Pixel 7 is in the 20s. The new Samsung S22 Ultra and Plus are 45 watts. This will allow you to max charge all those depending on how many you plug in. Now, your rapidest charge, your fastest charge will come from the USB-C cables. And again, most cars on the market are standard rate charging, which won't give you that rapid charge. I know there's a few newer models, especially in the 2022, 2023 model range. It's increasingly starting to come out with things like USB-C and a faster charge rate. But still, they're pretty slow. If you're like me and you're rushing between meetings and you use your phone a lot and you drain your battery faster than they say it should, Having a rapid charge like this is really nice to get in your car, go between meetings, and get as much charge as possible. Now, again, keep in mind, it's 70 watts in total, so if you're going to plug in a laptop at 45 watts on another device, you can quickly eat into that, and then suddenly you're not getting a max charge with everything. But I think for most people, if you're just looking to charge a Nintendo Switch, a, um, some cell phones, tablets, and the like, this is a great charger. Three charging ports, two USB-Cs, and a USB with it to get what you need charged, charge rapidly. So I would recommend this. This is a great product to help your kids get that rapid charge for some of their devices. We do a lot of cross-country travel for friends, family, and vacations, and I get it. They're traveling with laptops and tablets and Nintendo Switches, and having something like this is a huge help. So two thumbs up, I really do like it. Now, again, the catch here is it's 70 watts max. Some laptops like a MacBook Pro is 100 watts or more. Also, if you char plugging in two Samsung S25 or S22 pluses or the ultra version at 45 watts, that will um, eat into that. Now the good news is it will just slightly slow down the charge rate. You won't get quite the max, but you still get that rapid charge, keep that in mind. So I do recommend this. I always ask myself a few questions. Does it do what it says it's going to do? Yes, it successfully delivered the 70 watts just as like we would expect it would. Two, is it well made? And yes, we had no problems and no time did anything break, anything feel like it wasn't properly assembled or working as I would expect it. So two thumbs up, it did its job and did it well. I'll put a link to it down in the show notes down below and in the first pin comment to it on Amazon. If you're looking for it there, you can find it online. If you're new here, hey, help me grow the channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, let YouTube know you enjoy what we, what we do. So YouTube recommends our videos to more people, helping us grow this channel. Until next time, take care, be safe. We'll be back again real soon.